Well, it's definitely an oldie but a goodie. Who remembers the 1950s TV show, Oh Susanna? It was so popular that by the second season, they changed the name of the series to The Gale Storm Show. Hi everybody, Steve here in Hollywood, downtown Hollywood, California. And today I'm going in search of the final resting places for the cast members from the popular series, The Gale Storm Show. And can you think of any other TV shows where they changed the name to the star's name after the first season because it was so popular? Sergeant Bilko it was a very popular show. I believe it was also back in the 1950s. And again, it was so popular in the first season that they changed the name to The Phil Silvers Show. Phil Silvers was Sergeant Bilko. Any of you remember that show? So share with us down below in the comments section if you can think of any others. Now, she was cremated and has no final resting place to visit, but she does have a star here on the Hollywood Walk of Fame right here that you can visit. Sort of a memorial, I guess. Back in the day, she was so popular that not only does she have this star here, but she has two others. She has three stars here on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So since she didn't have a final resting place to visit, I wanted to at least visit her star, her memorial star here today and show you where she's located here at the corner of Gower and Hollywood Boulevard right across from the uh, Fonda Theater that you can see back here. And you can also see the sun is just coming up. It's uh, Sunday morning around 7 o'clock, but because it's Hollywood, it's still pretty active. There's always people walking around, always cars, always a lot of activity, always a lot of things going on here in uh, Hollywood. And you see it's pretty cold. I don't know if you can see my breath in this uh, cold air. <laughs> Although I do have my shorts on. So even when I'm cold, I, uh, I still pretty much wear shorts most of the year. <laughs> Gail Storm died in Danville, California on June 27, 2009 at the age of 87. She was cremated and sadly has no final resting place for fans to visit at this time. But it's nice to see that after all of these years, she still has her stars here on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. In addition to being an actress, she was also a singer and had six top ten hits. Her first recording, a cover of I Hear You Knocking, was released in 1955 and sold over a million copies. From 1952 to 1955, she starred in the hit TV sitcom My Little Margie, and then from 1956 to 1960, she starred in the equally popular hit TV sitcom The Gale Storm Show. On The Gale Storm Show, she played Susanna Pomeroy, a cruise director on a ship traveling around the world. And in a fun nod to her old TV show, in 1979, Storm appeared in the similarly themed Love Boat TV series. Another very popular character on the show was Elvira Nugent, played by Sazu Petz. Boy, aren't those two great names, the character and the actress? So. Sazu has a star right on the other side of Hollywood Boulevard and I'm going to show you her star as well and then I'm going to drive to Culver City to Holy Cross Cemetery where she was buried back in 1963. I visited her gravesite last year but I decided not to share it until I had time to come and visit her star as well. Pitts began her nearly 50-year show business career as a silent film actress and in 1994 was honored with a U.S. postage stamp along with such other silent screen star legends as Rudolph Valentino, Charlie Chaplin, Clara Bow, Buster Keaton, Harold Lloyd, the Keystone Cops, and others. During her very impressive screen career, she appeared in nearly 300 movies and TV show episodes, beginning in the early 1900s and ending with her final appearance in the movie classic It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, which was released posthumously in 1963. Over the years, many of you have asked me to visit the grave sites of the cast members from that movie, so this visit is for all of you, as well as for all of you Gale Storm fans. Pitts' gravesite is located just inside the front gates here, in the first section to the left at the top of the hill, within the grotto section. She died in Hollywood, California on June 7, 1963, at the age of 69, and she's laid to rest here with her husband, John Woodall, who died in Los Angeles on September 25, 1988, at the age of 87. For whatever reason, his name was never added to the headstone. And I'll pan around so you can see what I mean about just how close she is to the front gate, which is there straight ahead. And I just discovered that in one of her biographies, she states that the correct pronunciation of her name is Seizu. So I guess I've been mispronouncing it all these years. 
Another regular actor on the show, who I'm guessing many of you will probably recognize, is Roy Roberts. He played Captain Huxley, and according to his Wikipedia page, during his 40-year career, he appeared in more than 900 stage and screen productions. Roberts died from a heart attack in Los Angeles on May 28, 1975, at the age of 69. He's buried at Greenwood Memorial Park in Fort Worth, Texas. Actor James Fairfax played Cedric the Steward, and he died in Papeete, Tahiti on May 8, 1961, at the age of 63. Unfortunately, his final resting place is unknown at this time. If any of you do happen to know the whereabouts of his gravesite, please share with us in the comments section down below. And I don't know why I'm just spotting this for the first time, but I'm just now noticing that her headstone indicates that she was born in 1900, which means she would have been 63 years old when she died. But her Wikipedia page, her Find a Grave Memorial page, and her IMBD page all indicate that she was born in Parsons, Kansas on January 3rd, 1894, which means she would have been 69 when she died. People in show business often don't want to reveal their real age, so they shave off a few years. So as many of you know, if you've been watching my channel for a while, this is definitely not the first time that I've discovered a headstone that doesn't match information that I found online. So if any of you happen to know for certain when she was actually born, please share with us down in the comments section. So do you remember the Gale Storm show? And if so, who was your favorite character on the series? And this week, I'd like to thank my newest Patreon supporter, Shantae. Thank you, Shantae, for your extra generous donation to my channel. It's very appreciated. I'm standing here in the grotto trying to shelter my iPhone from the wind. It's pretty breezy here today, as it usually is at the cemetery. Well, most cemeteries that I visit seem to be very breezy. So if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. And if you did enjoy it, you might also enjoy these. So until our next trip together, thanks for sharing the memories, everyone.